arrive at St Thomas's Hospital, you'll go straight up to the sixth floor to the Imaging Centre. There you'll be met by one of our doctors who will talk you through the procedure. We'll ask you to sign a consent form and answer any questions you have before you get started. When you're ready, we'll get you changed into some hospital scrubs and take you through to the scanning room where we can introduce you to the team of radiographers. Before you go into the scanner, they will take your temperature, weigh you and conduct a metal check. Once they're happy, they'll take you into the scanner and get you nice and comfy, surrounded by lots of pillows. A device called a coil, which is used to capture the images, is placed on top of your tummy. You'll also be given some headphones to block out some noise and so you can listen to music. This buzzer alerts the radiographers and allows you to talk to them through a microphone in the headset. So if you need to ask anything or are feeling at all uncomfortable, then you can press it and stop the scan should you not wish to continue. The medical team will be monitoring you throughout the scans, which usually last about an hour, but can depend on how much your baby may be moving. A bit, the baby's moving a lot, so we thought we'd get a quick cine, okay? Once they've got all the images they need, they will come and help you out of the scanner. They will make sure that you're feeling all right and take your temperature once again. Oh, good. <laughs> After you've changed back into your clothes, we'll sit you down and a member of the medical team will take you through the images. They will explain what they all mean, guide you through what we can see and how we use them to form the basis of our research. These are the most detailed images you can get of the brain. With these, not only can we gain clinical information about how your baby's brain is developing, but also we can start further studies that map out a far broader understanding of early human brain development. This research will lead us to developing much better ways of diagnosing and treating babies whose brains are not growing as expected. Finally, we'll download the images onto a CD so you can take them home with you to keep. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for having me. This research is incredibly valuable and we'd be very grateful if you would come and take part in the Developing Human Connectome Project. <laughs>